guys, how's it going? Today's like what was that? Hi guys, how's it going? Today's video is going to be a review on Joe Fresh Cosmetics. Joe Fresh is a Canadian brand. It is sold at Superstore, which is a very popular grocery store here in Western Canada. I'm not too sure about Eastern Canada, but it is also sold at Shoppers Drug Mart, which is kind of like our main drugstore. So it's kind of like an Ulta with a Walgreens combined because there's drugstore makeup, high-end makeup, um, kind of like the pharmacy section, a food section, like a post office, that whole kind of thing. So when Shoppers Drug Mart started carrying Joe Fresh makeup, I was super excited and I thought it would be a great time to kind of post a comprehensive review for you guys because I was seriously curious about it myself as well. Um, it, it is an affordable makeup brand. It is more of a drugstore price than high end. So I thought it was really exciting. I like the packaging of it. And unfortunately you can't find Joe Fresh online. When I was looking online to like, you know, find some more information out, they don't have anything available, which is too bad, but hopefully soon they will be putting their beauty products on there so people can shop from there and whatnot. But for now, we are just going to stick to what I found in Superstore and also Shoppers Drug Mart. And I think it's very important to note, I think it's very important to note that um, Superstore prices were lower than Shoppers Drug Mart. And Shoppers Drug Mart, unfortunately, is kind of known for having higher prices, but you do get the optimum points. So maybe that is something that is like a factor for you. But pretty much everything at um, Shoppers Drug Mart was one or two dollars more than that at um, Superstore. Like for example, this foundation was I think $16 at um, Shoppers Drug Mart and $14 at Superstore. I could be wrong on those exact prices, but it was in that range and it was like a $2 difference for sure. So that is a lot. It is a difference. So I have tons of stuff here to talk about. I'm going to be inserting kind of like a demo as I talk about each thing so you guys can see the products in action. And there are a lot of hits here. There are a lot of misses. So I wanted to film this video so you guys could kind of see what you want to pick up, what you want to skip on. And yeah, there's tons of stuff here. So I think we should jump on into it. The first thing I want to talk about is something I was so excited about this is the Joe Fresh of course pure glow and this is basically an illuminating primer and it says it's long wear smooth and radiant finish I love the packaging of it I think that the bottle is very you know professional like sleek looking but it is quite bulky this isn't something I think you'd want to travel with it has a nice pump on it and while I do like this product um, to wear underneath my foundation as a primer I think it actually did help with the wear of my foundation I will say that it brought out a lot of redness in my skin. It has kind of that like purple iridescence undertone to it. And I didn't like that it brought out kind of like the pink and red tones in my skin. But of course, once I had foundation on, it was fine. So this is a product that I feel kind of like in the middle. Like I don't love it and I don't not like it. It's just kind of like I'm neutral on it. And I think that if you had like a yellowish more undertone to your skin, not pink like me, you would probably like this a lot more because it wouldn't pull out those pink tones. There was also another shade of this that was more of like a golden champagne shade. So that might be something um, I would like a little bit more than this one. I just thought I would like the lighter one, but turns out just the shade of it, the iridescence of it doesn't quite work for me. But once it's actually on my skin and I have on foundation over top of it, it's fine. So neutral on this guy. But if you have a darker skin and more of like an olive skin tone, I bet you would love kind of like that champagne golden shade I mentioned. Next, I wanna talk about the Daily Boost Fluid Foundation. It says it contains antioxidants, it's hydrating, it has a dewy finish. I got mine shade in, I got my shade in porcelain, but honestly guys, the shade selection was not great for this. I was going in between two shades. I ended up getting this lighter one, knowing that it would be too light and too yellow for me, but the one up from it was like, way too dark and I don't know it, they don't have a great shade selection unfortunately and I have to tell you guys I don't love this foundation I feel like we're starting off this review on a bad note but I promise it gets better but this foundation is not my favorite I just found for me personally when something says that it's like hydrating and has a dewy finish I'm gonna be all about it with my dry skin but this just did not seem to like mesh with my skin I don't know if people would have um if other people would have a different experience with it but it just seemed like it sits on top of my skin rather than kind of making that beautiful like like melting in and making it look very flawless and pretty. Um, I also did not love the coverage of this. I feel like it is more of like a sheer to medium coverage, which for me personally, I do like something a little bit more full coverage, but I would say this is more of like a tinted moisturizer type product, if anything, which might be great if that's what you're looking for, but 
in general, I don't love this. I didn't think that it was like overly hydrating or had a dewy finish to it. I just, I don't know. I was disappointed in this one. Next is the concealer. This is actually something I picked up a few months ago, like before I got the bulk of this stuff. And this is the illuminating concealer. Mine is in the shade light. And I do like this product, but not on its own. So I like to use this product as underneath my eyes and bringing it kind of like farther out than I normally would. And then going in with a more full coverage concealer for right directly under my eyes and then blending it all out because there is the most subtle kind of luminosity in this concealer, which makes it super nice if you want a really like bright glowing under eye area, but it is not great coverage. This is not a high coverage concealer. This is not something I can use on its own to cover up my under eye circles or cover up blemishes and that kind of thing. So I like this product, but not if this is not what I would use for like if I'm putting on one concealer and then I want to be done with it. This is something for like a full on makeup look that I want to do, you know, extra steps and all that kind of stuff. So again, this is a product that I do like, but it's not like, you know, I'm jumping off the rooftops about it. I do think that it is nice and illuminating for that under eye area. But yes, unfortunately, like the face products of Joe Fresh are not my favorite. I think there are just better options available at the drugstore as far as foundation, concealer, and the primer. Next is another product that I actually picked up at the same time I got this concealer, and this product I really, really like. This is a super translucent sheer powder, and it is so nice for setting under the eye area. It doesn't really add any extra coverage, but it is super like soft and satiny and sets that area really, really nicely. But this is not something I would use to set my entire face because for me personally, I like a powder that's going to add a little bit more coverage. And especially since this foundation isn't full coverage, I didn't love pairing these together because I felt like I just needed more for me personally. But this powder, I really like for setting that under eye area. And I don't think that there are a ton of powders available at the drugstore that do as nice a job as this guy. So this is called their Oil Absorbing Pressed Powder. But what's interesting is I, I, I'm just using it for under my eyes, so I don't really know about the oil absorption part of it but I do really like it it has a very very oops, a very strong baby powder scent to it though so I don't know if that affects you guys for me I don't really notice it but if you are sensitive to fragrances it might be something you want to steer clear of but this is a product I definitely recommend for under eyes and I like it all right so the next thing I want to talk about is um, their blush stick in peach dream so I love kind of like cream blush stick thingies so I was excited to try this one out it looks like this it has this little like cap on it and then you go um, and you just like twist it up like this now I haven't been directly applying this on my skin basically what I have been doing is taking a small stippling brush and putting my brush in it and then going directly on my cheeks and I like this product, but you have to remember to use it before you put on any powder products. This is not a cream product that you can put on over top of powders and it'll blend out. If you try to put this on over top of like, you know, when you've already put powder on your skin and then you go over top of it, it will look patchy and like your pores will be very defined and it is not a good thing. And for me, it is really hard to remember that for some reason. Like after I do my um, foundation and my concealer, it is just a natural thing for me to reach for powder and by the time I remember that I should have put this on first it like it's all over and I can't really use it um, and you'll see in the demo here I actually did just like attempt to put it on over top of my powder thinking you know what let's just like let's just see how this goes this time even though I've already tried that in the past and unfortunately it really did not work to the point where I had to wipe off that area of my makeup redo the foundation redo it was just bad guys so I like this product. It's actually a very nice consistency. If you are a cream product lover, I would highly recommend this. But if you are like myself and you just gravitate towards powder products more, this might be something to skip on because there you cannot put this over top of powder at all. But it is a beautiful shade. This like peachy shimmer, mm, so nice. Something that I really love is this powder blush. So even though I like this, and would recommend it for cream products product lovers I prefer this powder blush over it by a lot this is also the shade peach dream so it's basically the powder version of that shade and it is just stunning this blush literally gives that glowing from within radiance type of look because it has like a pink shift pinky coral orange shift and I feel like I just want more of it in my life 
I really like this blush. I think it is a beautiful formula in general. I recommend this blush totally. It's not overly pigmented. It's not under pigmented. It's just, it's stunning. I love this blush and it is super affordable. And yeah, this is like, you know, I feel like the first product that like I'm like raving about. Love it. Next is the stick highlighter and what's interesting is this highlighter actually does apply okay over top of powder. This I have been using with my little stippling brush after blush to dip in and put on the very tops of my cheekbones and unlike the uh, cream blush stick this actually wears very nicely. It adds a very nice luminosity however it is very pale so if you are any darker than I am I don't think that this would work. It would probably make it look like you have like a gray or white streak on your face which is no good but yes this is in pure glow so that is actually kind of like the same name as the um, primer meaning that it is very white as you can see a very like creamy light light vanilla shade and I like the formula of this it's actually better in my opinion than the blush sticks formula so again if you like cream products I highly recommend this but if you are like myself and prefer powder you would still maybe like to give this bad boy a go and I do really like cream products like this for the summertime I think that it can add a really nice kind of extra ounce of hydration to your skin so I like this one this is a go in my in my books Another cheek product that I love is this uh, powder highlighter. So this is in the shade Champagne. This is so gorgeous, you guys. When I first picked it up, I thought I could see like shimmery chunks in it. And I was like, mm, I don't think I'm going to like that. But when you actually apply it to your skin, it gives the most subtle, beautiful, radiant glow. And let me just do some more here. Like I'm showing the demo as I'm putting this on my skin, but I just can't help it. I love this highlighter so much. I highly recommend it. The combination of these two things is so great. And yes, I really like this powder highlighter. It is not like the most intense in your face, like glowing from the planets that you'll see. What? The combination of these two things is so awesome. Peach Dream with the Champagne Highlighter is such a nice combination for the spring and summertime. I really like these two products. This is not like the most like intense in your face highlighter that you'll ever see, but it is nice. I, I know for me personally, I sometimes do like a more of less subtle sheen to my skin and that's what I'm wearing right now and I love it. I love these. The bronzer from Joe Fresh is actually the first thing that I ever tried from the line and as you can tell, it's something that I have been using for a long time and I really like this bronzer. This is their old packaging. It has like a different kind of brand title on it, but this is a really great bronzer. I noticed that they still have the same bronzer shades now, and this is in the shade Golden, and it is great. This has the tiniest, tiniest amount of shimmer in it that you can barely see it, but on the skin it leaves a beautiful glow. I really like this bronzer. I know I've talked about it on my channel before because I do use it all the time as you can tell, and yeah, this is definitely a hit if you are looking for a drugstore bronzer. I was super excited to try out the brow products from the Joe Fresh line, and the first one that they have that I picked up is Joe Fresh Universal Brow Tint, and this caught my eye because they have one shade of this, and I was like, what the heck? How is that going to work for everyone? And I actually do like this product. There's one from NYX that reminds me a lot about it. It's just kind of like a little felt tip brow filler in her thing, but I will say this would not work in any way, shape, or form for everybody. If you had like, you know, that gorgeous, like silky, dark, almost black hair, this would not work for your eyebrows. If you had super pale, light, golden blonde hair, this would not work for your eyebrows. It works for me because I'm kind of in that like middle neutral range and I like the way that it applied and I actually like the way my eyebrows turned out um, today and also in the times that I've used it. But I just think it's funny that they say universal brow tint because I would have to disagree with that. But it's a good product. Probably my favorite thing from the entire Joe Fresh range that I tried would be this guy. This is their Joe Fresh Tinted Brow Fix and this is in the shade brown. And you guys, this is 100% a dupe for the Benefit Gimme Brow. And I am so pleased to have found this. It has the exact same little brush that the Benefit one does. And it again adds, like the Benefit one, a little bit of um, extra almost like fibers or something and fills in your brows while adding some color. This is such a great product. I highly recommend it. They have more than just this brown shade. So if you have you know a different hair color, unlike this guy, there will be something for you. I highly recommend this, so inexpensive, and yeah, this is a great product, and 
like this makes me want to film an entire dupe video just from finding this because I want to shout it from the rooftops. I have to say that the eyeshadow selection from the Joe Fresh range was definitely lacking. They had these like kind of like trios, but there were none that were jumping out to me. So much so that I was like, I can't even justify spending money on something that like I don't like. I wasn't drawn to them. They had one that had like all like really, really like that kind of yellowy gold tone and then they had one with more cool tones but just in general the packaging how they looked I was like that isn't something I want to try but they did have some individual eyeshadows that were much more appealing to me but again the whole range of shades it just I don't know there wasn't anything like a nice really neutral brown transition shade or anything like that but this one it did kind of speak to me it is in the shade Honey Bell and it is a gorgeous peach eyeshadow I love, love, love that like warm peach undertone eyeshadow, but like, you know, just kind of a wash of color all over the lid, especially for the spring and summertime. So I really do like this. I will say though that it almost like, it seems like a very light blush shade, something that I probably already own in my collection. So while I do really like it, I like how I have it today, like wearing it all into the crease and on the lid area. I like the way that looks. I do think that there are other shades that I own that I could kind of like dupe this, but I really do like this. The formula of it is nice. It isn't like overly pigmented, but it's also not like, you know, crumbly and folly outy and it is nice, but there just wasn't a lot of other shades that appealed to me. So I um, put, like I said, all in my crease area and on my lid, and then I actually went back with um, the highlighter for my inner corner. But yeah, I think in the future, hopefully Joe Fresh will kind of improve their eyeshadow selection. But for now, Honey Bell is kind of like a diamond in the rough. Excuse me. Where did that eyeliner go? I also wanted to try an eyeliner from the brand and this is their 8 hour waterproof cool eyeliner and I got mine in the shade Plum. This is a definite hit for me as well. I love a purple eyeliner and especially one like this that is so dark that it has like a brown kind of undertone to it. So this really deep purpley brown eyeliner is super nice and while it isn't like the softest eyeliner I actually like that because I do have slightly hooded eyes so throughout the day if it's a super creamy pencil it'll kind of transfer up on me which doesn't happen with this guy and I have liking, been liking it just along my upper lash line and then smudging it out a little bit but I really really do like this pencil they had a lot of other shades in it but I think this is a definite hit and you can see here that it is just like this beautiful kind of like purpley deep plum brown color and it doesn't like even though it isn't super soft it doesn't tug at all on the eyes and yeah it's nice it's very nice the whole thing I enjoy this a lot. This mascara really caught my eye because it is called the Hydra Lash. It is a nourishing mascara and it comes in really kind of nice silver packaging and I think I, I think I mentioned already, I like the packaging of all of this because it's simple, it's sleek, and it feels, you know, more luxurious than the actual prices are. But I really like the packaging of this mascara. And when you open it up here, it has one of those like plastic bristled wand brushes on it. And I do have lash extensions, so I'm not like, you know, the best reviewer of mascara currently. But I did really like that. You can see even when I take out um, the wand out of the tube, there aren't any clumps on it. When I was using this on my lower lash line, it was just adding a very fine kind of layer of mascara and not clumping it on there which I really like so I think this mascara is very good. One thing I should mention about the packaging on absolutely everything it had stickers to keep it closed which is a good thing but when you peel the sticker off it leaves the, it leaves this like sticky part I don't know if you guys can see that but it really bothers me for some reason and I feel like that is minor and I recognize that but it's on so many of them where it's like there's just this like sticky part and I'm like they should come up with something that like it just comes off easily. And then I tried out three lip products. The first is this um, Joe Fresh Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade Nude. I have been loving this lipstick. It is just a beautiful everyday kind of nude lipstick color. It is comfortable on the lips. It is not drying. It's really nice. It has a bit of a smell to it, like a vanilla smell, but nothing too overpowering. I like that it has like Joe Fresh kind of G or uh, JF engraved right there. I really like this lipstick. I highly recommend them and yeah, let's just throw some on. 
The next product I tried out is their uh, lip cream, lip creme, which I thought would be like a liquid lipstick, but it doesn't dry down. So the way I would describe this is a super pigmented, um, glossy finish lipstick. And it is very nice. Mine is in the shade Rose. I don't think I said that. And it is beautiful. It is so pigmented. It's nice to wear on the lips. It has a very strong vanilla scent to it, a lot more strong than that matte lipstick, so something to keep in mind if that bothers you. But I really like this. I don't love having something that is like super drying, so wearing this, even though it doesn't dry down, I've been really liking it. I want to pick up more shades of this guy for sure, and I think that there is nothing really offered um, like this at the drugstore, so I think that this is a really, really good option. Um, they didn't have a great shade selection. I didn't love this like mauvey color. I would probably like something a little bit more nude, a little bit more pink, but I do like this. The formula, very good. And lastly, I was very interested to try out their Long Wear Lip Veil, which turns out just to be a lip gloss. Um, I didn't really know what they meant by lip veil, but again, this smells very much like vanilla or like cupcakes the way um, that that other one does. And this is very nice because it has a little bit of color to it. It brings a little bit of life back to your lips but adds a lot of gloss and I really like this shade. Um, this is the shade Sorbet. Very pretty, a kind of a light, easy to wear nude shade and I actually think that Lip Veil is a very good name for this product because it's not really a gloss, it's not really a lipstick, it's just kind of like a veil on top of your lips. So Joe Fresh, I like it. So that is my review on the Joe Fresh Cosmetics line. Please let me know if you guys have any questions at all down below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. Let me know if there's anything that I kind of missed picking up that you have an opinion on or you'd like me to try out. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already because it means so much to me and give this video a like if you want to see more kind of reviews of makeup lines and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!